Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Louise, this is Sewing Days, and today I'm going to give you a quick tour of the shop as it stands, December 2021. Now I know you're gonna be watching this at the beginning of January, but if all's gone to plan, I am thousands of miles away visiting my best friend back in America. Spoiler alert, <laughs> I made it, yay! I want to show you the shop here as it stands at Sewing Days at the end of 2021. We haven't done one of these videos since April, I think. So if you haven't seen the last one, I'll click up here and then you can see how everything has changed. I wanna show you what it looks like as soon as you come in. Okay, it's very windy today. <laughs> as you come into the shop, it is much nicer in here than it is out there. The weather is rubbish. Over here we have our yarn section. So these are all sale yarns, which we are in the process of sorting through. We then have our happy cottons. These have been around for a couple of years now and they are so popular. They have all of these books as well that you can use and they have patterns in so they're all crocheted, the little animals across the top. And um, this little chicken is the one that we do as the amigurumi class so keep an eye out for that hopefully we will be doing that workshop again in the spring if you want to learn how to make these cute animals we have more cotton ones along the bottom we have super chunky we have these ones which are double knit but they're obviously the variegated colors we have a couple more super chunkies and these baby yarns here then into the wall we have the chunky ones which go all the way down here we have Aaron which are plain colors here and then these beautiful jewel spun ones along the side these jewel spun ones again have been around for a couple of years but are ridiculously popular then we have a huge double knit section plain colors 100 gram balls 50 gram balls swirls all sorts of things they are all here and I just absolutely love this rainbow and I love reorganizing it as well if one day when I get a big yarn delivery and you'd like to see an organize with me video then I'm happy to do one of those for you guys because rainbow tizing that's definitely a word, is something I absolutely love doing. So yeah, leave us a comment down below. And also let us know what your favorite product is that you see today because um, I've got lots of ordering to do. So I want you guys to make sure you get what you like. Then next to the double knits, we have all of our accessories. So knitting needles, crochet hooks, things like that. We have um, snuggly baby yarns in four ply and double knit. And then we have all of our um, knitting and crochet patterns in all of the folders along here. On this table as well, we have uh, Billy. This is Billy, um, named after the bookcase. This is a Billy bookcase. This is Billy Mannequin. See what we did there. Um, this little one still doesn't have a name. So if you can think of one, let us know. Probably Ikea themed, but you know, we'll take anything. On here we have um, the Alpine, which is super popular. It's really, really fluffy um, in lots of different colors. And then these are both made from the jewel spun Aran yarns that I showed you. They are really, really pretty. So when you come out of the yarn section, you go straight over here to the DMC embroidery threads and our new stand here as well. So there's 560, 90, I can't remember, 500 and something threads on here. And then this is our new spinny. I showed you this new spinny in our last unboxing video. So I will tag that just up here and you can see all of the stuff that is on it there, as well as lots of fabric and yarn that I unboxed the week before Christmas. We then have a table of kits, which is looking a little bit sad at the moment. We are waiting for lots of deliveries, but as you can imagine, the last week before Christmas, kits went mad. We have lots of accessories and gifts and things over this side as well. We have our button table, which we are in the middle of reorganizing as well, because uh, we've had lots come in. So buttons are my absolute favorite thing in the world. I love the noise they make when they clink together. I love sorting them out, tipping them out. I just, I, I love them. So the idea of organizing the button table when I get back in January is very, very exciting. We also have this, uh, which is the mandalas that we were going to do as a class. Hopefully Melanie Missin will be back to do that with us in the new year. Then we have felt and cushions and things under the table loads of poly cottons patterns and planes these are always really popular i think they're only four or five pound a meter so um yeah they always go down very very well we have our extra wide fabrics down here we don't have too many because we're not asked for them too much but they are down here if you need them and then here is all that remains 
of our Christmas stock. Um, also on the website, so you can have a look or you can pop in and get it once we reopen. But lots of kits, some fat quarter bundles, um, some individual fat quarters, and some half meters pre-cut as well. Underneath there as well, we have the cotton poplins, which are very, very, very popular. And then under the table over here on this side, we have our brush cottons and our fleece. Now, a lot of you have been asking for fleece and we are getting more in. I haven't placed many orders yet because I know we're closed until the 18th of January and I don't want orders to be coming when I'm not here. So by the end of January, we'll be all completely restocked. But like I said, keep an eye on the website and anything that, as soon as we get it, they'll go there. But also like this video, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell and you'll find out when we do new videos and quite often they're unboxing. So pretty much any time anything new comes in, I do an unboxing and I show you guys what we have. That is definitely the best way to keep up with stock as well as on our social medias. So Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, all of the things. On top of the table that has the fleece underneath, we have loads of fat quarter bundles, which are looking really, really cool. We just redid this display, so there's lots there. We have panels, so a few Christmas ones remaining, but mostly non-Christmas ones at this point. Then we have the fabric wall. Now we rearranged all of this on Christmas Eve, which is really, really fun. So we have all of our remaining Christmas down here. We have this section here, which is florals and sort of natural prints. We have bright kids prints or just rainbows. This is very popular so far. This is the hedgerow. This is what I unboxed in the last unboxing video as well. So you can check that out. Um, more kids prints down the bottom. Then we have some essentials. So things like ginghams and all of that. These amazing leopard prints and animal prints are just so good. We have these this henna range in the middle which I unboxed in a previous video so I'll tag that up there as well. Then we have all of our essentials which are tone on tones so they are like white background with white patterns or grey with white or whatever. Um, we have this new one as well all of the polka dots and the freckle dots which make your eyes go a little bit funny on video but they're amazing in real life then we have the linen textures which are one of our most popular from Macawa which they're not as flat of a colour so can you see they sort of look a little bit like denim um, and then all of our completely plain colours down the bottom other than that we have our remnant stand just here so when we get to an end of bolt or we have bits left over they all go on to there we have our big accessories board which again we've just stocked up but there's spaces already so we will be doing that in the new year and um, all things like scissors pins and sewing machine needles fastenings all sorts of things are all on there um, and then our ribbons are underneath we then have our till where we cut all of our fabric so we do also still have our screen up so if you are still unsure about coming in you can do them and then underneath here as well there's lots of other accessories then over here we have our workshop section now my, i've got a project on here at the moment which um i was going to tidy away but i'm kind of still working on it a couple of weeks ago i did a shopping video when I was in the US um, and I will tag it just up here for you but this is a sneak peek of the quilt that I'm making out of the Christmas fabric that I bought. I was hoping to get it finished by Christmas but who was I kidding? I gave myself like two weeks not even remotely gonna happen uh, but now i will keep working on this and hopefully get it done very very soon in a couple of months i'm going to be doing another sew and tell video of all the things i have been working on um, but this is where we normally do our workshops i don't think we'll be doing any before february by the time you see this all the covid rules might have even changed so you'll be thinking past louise what are you talking about hopefully we'll be doing classes again soon and that is it. That is the speediest tour I have ever done. It's like my home away from home. I absolutely love it here. I know you guys love it here. It's always really chilled here. We have an amazing atmosphere. All of the fairy lights look very cute and twinkly all year round. Again, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for liking our channel coming back every week for shopping for supporting us from all around the world it still blows my mind that have people from like thousands thousands of miles away finding us and wanting to support our business so thank you very much indeed that is it quick video this week like i said hopefully i'll be back with some more unboxing very very soon but until then give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel click the notification bell and you'll find out when i'm back fingers crossed i am thousands of miles away right now having an absolutely lovely time and i hope you guys have a great time until i'm back until then have a good day guys.